Now, if you are somebody that likes installing applications, streaming applications, utilities, apps, games on your Fire Stick, Fire TV or Android TV device, probably one of the most common questions I get is, how can I now back up these applications? Or I've forgotten where I got these applications from. How can I make a backup of them so I can then install them onto another streaming device? Or maybe I want to format my device. I want to do a factory reset. How can I back up these applications so once I've reset my device, I can then reinstall them? Well, there's actually two super easy ways you can do that directly onto your device, absolutely free, takes a couple of minutes, and with a few clicks, you can now back up all of your applications and then restore them any way you like. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new started. to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so I'm doing my demonstration on the third generation Fire TV Cube, but you can follow this process on any other Amazon device or any other Android TV. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go to my website and just download one application. So let's now do that. Let's open up Downloader and we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on go. And this will take you directly to my website. Now, the application in question is called Me Explorer, which I've just found to be the best overall all-in-one file manager. I've got the latest version on my website, which you can find by going to the hamburger menu. Let's click on that now. Let's click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new version of Me Explorer. Let's open that up. Here we are. So Me Explorer 2025 update. Lots of great features in here. Copy, paste, zip up APKs, extract APKs, FTP access, HTTP access, lots of different things. Keep scrolling down and you should see a link for the latest version underneath here. So here we are. Let's click on that now. I can now scroll down and you're always looking for this green download button. Let's click on that now. Now then download the latest version on your device. You can click on install, then click on done. That's now completed. Let's now press the home button. Now, before we continue, let me just quickly share this QR code that if you are looking for a fantastic offer for a ridiculously fast VPN, stay safe online, change your IP address, access geolocked content, protect your privacy, you definitely want to go ahead and scan this QR code for a superb discount. Now, the next thing you need to do is plug in a USB drive. So as I'm doing this on the third generation Fire TV Cube, I do have access to a USB port, but if you are doing this on a Fire Stick or you know, Fire Stick Max, any of the Fire TV devices where they don't have a USB port, you will have to use an OTG cable, which you can get for a couple of dollars from Amazon. And this will allow you to then plug in a full size USB device directly into your Fire Stick. Now it is advisable to pre-format this Fire Stick as FAT32, but in my demonstration, I'm gonna plug in a USB drive that's formatted as XFAT. So I'm hoping when I plug that in, it should show me a prompt asking me, do you want to format this as internal or external storage? So let me do that now. Okay, so I plugged in that USB drive. The Fire TV Cube is telling me that it can't read this. Now what do I now want to do with it? Now we can see we have two options, which is device storage and external storage. Now device storage basically means that it's going to format this drive and it'll then allow me to install applications to this internally formatted USB drive. One issue with that is once you format it as device storage, you can now no longer use this USB drive on any other Fire Stick or Fire TV because as part of the formatting process, the drive becomes encrypted and the only place where you can decrypt and read the drive will be on this particular device. Now, the solution that we're looking for is the ability to back up our APKs and then install them onto other devices. So for that, you have to format that as external storage because external storage means you can use it on other devices as well. So let's click on that now. Let's click on yes. This will now quickly format the drive and I believe it formats it as FAT32. Let's give that a second. That's now formatted and it says your drive is now ready to use. I can now press the home button. Okay, so we've got the software downloaded, which is Me Explorer, which we can see up here. And we now have a USB drive formatted as external storage. What we need to do now is open up Me Explorer and we're now inside the Me Explorer interface. Now, this really just has so many great features. It's one of the applications I install on all of my streaming devices just because it's that versatile. And I will probably show you towards the end of the video the main feature I use it for, which is the ability to connect to my drive 
over the network so I can then copy APKs, extract APKs, push APKs. I can do all of that without messing about with USB drives. But for now, what we're going to do is if I go over to where it says app, actually, before I do that, you can see here it has detected my USB drive. I can click on that. We can see two of those default folders that are created when you format the drive as external storage. But what we're going to do is go down into app. Click on that now. This will now show you all of the applications installed on your drive that you can see here. Now at the top, you've got the option of seeing system apps or user apps. You can leave the default as all, but if you're looking for a more concise list, let's click on user apps. So these are all the applications I've installed myself on this particular Fire TV cube. So we can see here, I recently installed the latest version of Mi Explorer. You've got some other applications here. Now really any application you install on your device will appear in this list. Now let's say for example, I want to copy out um, Zonify, which is one of the streaming apps I reviewed recently. I can long press the button on that, select. So three, two, one, let go. I can now go to the top and click on this icon here, which is copy. So I'm saying basically copy this APK. That's now copied. Let's now go back to my USB drive. Let's click on that now. And here I want to click on paste. And I'm hoping the first time I try to do that, it will ask me for permissions because the Fire TV Cube it needs to have permissions to write to that USB drive. So let's try that now. Let's press the button on that. Press select again. We can see the operation fails because now it asks you, do you want to give permission to this USB drive? I'm going to click on allow. That's now allowed. I can now click on paste again at the top. Press select again. And there we have it guys. We've now extracted that APK from the installed applications on my Fire TV Cube. And we've now put that directly onto our USB drive. And it really is as easy as that. I can now go back to the list. Let's say for example, I want to copy out a bunch of APKs. Let's say, um, let's copy this R Cloud Systems, long press select. Uh, let's also select a background absence process list, that's two. And uh, let's also make a copy of downloader, that's three. Um, let's also copy uh, MovieArc. Uh, let's copy uh, this TV app. Let's copy this streaming app, that's six so far. And lastly, let's copy this screensaver app, that's lucky seven. So we've got seven applications selected. Again, go back to the top. Click on the copy. That's not copied. Let's go back to the USB drive. Let's click on that. I can now go back to the paste icon. And just like that, click on that, press select again. That now copies all of those APKs from the internal storage of my Fire TV cube and paste them directly onto the USB drive. And those applications are now ready to install on any other device. I can take out this USB drive, plug it into my NVIDIA Shield, plug it into my, my own 4K Pro, really any other device, and go ahead and install all these applications with one click. Now, as I mentioned before, the, the main reason why I personally use uh, Mi Explorer is the ability to access your drives over the network. So I personally don't use USB drives because I just find it so much easier to access internal storage over the network and then move applications in, move applications out. I can do all of that directly from Mi Explorer without using any USB drive. So the way we do that is if I go back to my internal storage, if I now go over to the three dots on the top right, I can now go to where it says servers. Let's click on that. And you can see guys, you've got multiple options here. I personally use the second one. It says start HTTP or web dev server. Let's press the select button on that. And you now get to see an IP address and a port, which is the IP address of your current device, my Fire TV Cube. Now, if I type that into any browser, which I will show you in just a second, I'll be able to access the internal storage of this Fire TV Cube. Let me try that now. So we see the IP address ends in 148 on port 8181. Let me open up a browser. Can okay, I type in the IP address 192.168.0.148 colon for port and then 8181. Press enter on that. And there you have it guys, you can now see the internal storage of my Amazon Fire TV Cube. So here, for example, is the download folder. I can click on downloader. And you can see I can now see all of the things I've previously downloaded. Anything that I click on, uh, let's just try this local now APK. Let's click on that. I can then save that directly into my device. Similarly, I can click on, click on choose file. 
let's say I want to upload this Roku Channels APK. Let's press open on that. I can now click on upload. That's now completed. And when we go back to my Fire TV Cube, I will show you exactly where that file is. But this really is the quickest way you can navigate through your internal storage. You can upload content into the download folder. You can download content from anywhere and really just fully manipulate your file storage or from just using a browser on your home network. Let's go back to the Fire TV Cube. I can now go to Downloader and we can see now there is the application uploaded directly from my computer over to my Fire TV Cube. And it really is as simple as that. So you have multiple options. You can use a USB drive. You can extract your APKs, copy them to the USB drive and then use them on other streaming devices. Or if you want to use a second method, you still extract the APKs, but instead of pasting it into your USB drive, paste them into your downloader folder. And once you've done that, you can then enable the server and you can then connect to your drive from your computer or your laptop and then pull out the APKs you've extracted. So super easy to do. I really think it's the best way you can manage your applications, back up your applications and really just manipulate your entire streaming devices file system. So.